Hello. Today, we are talking about a very important topic, one of my favorite topics, something that may also be very shocking to you, but it's why too much cardio is making you fat. You may even be like most people, and when you're trying to lose weight, the first thing you go to is trying to add in more high-intensity HIIT workouts. You try all the boot camp classes, cycling classes, you buy a Peloton, you do Soul Cycle every day, you name it. And you try all these different ways to add in more cardio so you can get in shape. Now, I do want to start this video off by saying that not all cardio is bad. In fact, cardio is very good for our health when it comes to our cardiovascular health. It lowers blood pressure, makes the heart stronger, and it also helps maintain weight loss when we're using it to be more active rather than living a sedentary lifestyle. And if you're in a cutting phase, you know, some low steady cardio is beneficial. Now, I do want to talk about why too much cardio is not good, especially for women, and why too much cardio actually causes people um, to either see no progress, gain weight, or achieve the look of what we call skinny fat, where uh, you may be thin framed, but you have a higher body fat percentage and you don't have much muscle. So cardio is a huge hormone disruptor. And when our body is doing too much cardio, our T3 hormone can get depleted. And this is important to know because the T3 um, hormone is actually responsible for our metabolism. We, of course, want to have a fast metabolism or an effective metabolism. So if we deplete our T3 hormone, this will actually cause our body to store more fat rather than burning fat. And our goal is always to burn fat. So as females, our hormones play a huge role in our body's function to burn fat and build muscle. Everyone's body recovers differently. It responds differently from cardio. However, if you are someone who has either hormonal imbalances, you have uh, irregular periods, you may even have PCOS, uh, too much cardio will actually cause your body to respond negatively um, to the cardio. It won't give you the effect that you're actually going for. Now, on the flip side of that, even if you don't have any hormonal imbalances and you're not dealing with PCOS or anything like that, even if you're doing too much high-intensity training, your body will also lead to irregular periods or missed periods, which is also a clear sign that your hormones are imbalanced. So you may be asking yourself, you know, why is this important if our hormones get imbalanced? But if our hormones are imbalanced, then reaching our fitness goals, it's going to be a lot harder because it's going to be a lot harder for our body to burn fat, lose weight, and even create the muscle that we need. So you exercise, I'm sure, to see a result and a few different results. I'm sure you want to exercise so you can feel better physically, so you feel better emotionally, and so that you feel better mentally. But we also want to make sure that the exercise we're doing is effective and that our body is noticing a change from it. So if you've been working out forever and you can't seem to change your body composition, you don't see any change at all, that means that what you are doing is not right for you. You may be seeing other people doing the exact same thing that you're doing and it's working, but everyone's body is different. That's why you need something that's really specific to you and your body. So if you are doing the same thing over and over again and you see no difference, something needs to change. And another reason why too much cardio can also make you gain weight rather than lose weight is because of stress. So Whenever our body is under a high amount of stress and our cortisol is higher than normal, if we're doing high intensity cardio, our body will actually start pumping more cortisol, um, which actually leads to more fat storage and more muscle burning, which we do not want. So this also causes our estrogen and our testosterone levels to drop. And when that happens, that will lead to the less energy, the fatigue, more sweating. It also will feel a lot more challenging to get through a workout than it did the week before. I know I know a clear sign of when I need to stop is if I'm working out and I, my body feels like cement. I used to think like, oh, push through, like it's just a hard day. It's like, no, 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 your body's telling you to stop. So how can we simplify this and change this without having to flip our entire life upside down? So... For starters, sounds simple, do less high-intensity cardio 
and you want to incorporate more weight training, add in some resistance training with some dumbbells, resistant bands, some machines. If you're brand new, you can even do body weight exercises. They're also very effective. Because cardio only burns cardio, uh, calories. Cardio does not build muscle, and without muscle, it's very hard for our body to burn fat. The more muscle, the more fat that could be burned. So weightlifting does not cause women to get bulky. If your goal is to get more bulky and you're looking for that thick look, you need to be on a specific plan. Um, and I can promise you that by simply just adding in more weight, it's not going to do that. More weight will actually get you more toned. It'll get you more tightened, more definition, and it'll help you burn more fat, which is what we want. So if you are someone who still gets your period, you want to make sure, this is key, this is for anyone. You want to make sure that you don't do any cardio the week leading up to your period, and even sometimes during. This is a huge mistake. Um, simply going for a walk will not affect you, um, but if you are taking spin classes and you're going for runs, you're participating in HIIT and you know boot camp classes before and even during your period, your body will actually store onto fat a lot faster. And the reason why is because naturally during this phase of our cycle, your cortisol is already higher. Um, so adding in cardio will heighten that even more, causing more fat stores. And that's when normally you feel more of the fatigue and more of the sweating and you feel more drained because your body needs rest during that phase and high intensity cardio is not the fix. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you were able to find some value um, from this, please comment, share, um, like it below. Uh, tomorrow I will be hopping on and we will be talking about the popular nutrition mistakes that you may be making um, that will be slowing down your metabolism. So I can't wait to see you then. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow.